This is the Gigabyte GTX 1060 3GB. It's $220 on Amazon, but is it really worth its money on GPU mining? Well, let's find out. Okay, so in today's video we're going to be using our Bird One Benchmark Rig. It has been laying around for more than 6 months because I already built this mining rig but we never actually used it. So now I decided to make a benchmark mining rig series so we could benchmark every single card that we have and also future upcoming cards like AMD Vegas or whatsoever. So today we're going to be benchmarking the Ethereum, Zcash and Monero coin. So these three coins have three different algorithms. The first one of Ethereum is Dega Hashimoto, for example, and it can be used for multiple coins. So if you want to mine Ethereum or Ethereum Classic or Dubai coin, you're going to be having the same hash rate. So that's why I'm just calling these algorithms as well. Zcash is called Equihash and for Monero it's Kryptonite. So if you know that other coins share the same algorithm, you will know the hash rate of this card for this specific coin. Okay, so to get to the day's results, let's say, we had to do a few things. So I was deciding like, hey, how are we gonna do this when we are benchmarking coins? So where did we go for? We went for efficiency on the card, we went for stability on the card, and about the same power usage on every single coin. So we pushed these cards like getting funny green screens and crashes out of the computer. But eventually we just decided to go with a TDP of 65% for every single coin. It seems to be the best for the GTX 1063 gigabyte from Gigabyte. And we got to some really nice results, except of Ethereum. So mining on Ethereum with Dagger Hashimoto or Ethash with the clock speeds of 0 on the core and 600 extra on the memory, we only accomplished 19.8 mega ashes per second. This is really poor for a GTX 1060. Well, it's like the absolute lowest I've ever seen. For Zcash, it was a total different story. The core was clocked 170 megahertz extra and the memory also 600. We came to a really nice 265 solutions per second for Zcash and that's actually pretty good. Okay, so last but not least, we got Monero with Kryptonite algorithm. We used the same core and memory as Zcash, and we came to a really nice 490 hashes per second. That is actually really good for Monero, but of course, it can always be better. So what I think about this card is that it's really not worth the $200 for GPU mining. It, it's really not the one you need because there are way more cards that can do way better at hash rates. Maybe it's a driver version, but a few of my subscribers even think that Gigabyte does this on purpose just to sell cards for gamers. And that may be true. So hopefully you all enjoyed this video and see you guys in the next one.